Hello, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 3. I already recorded a video starting here. And I had to kill dog meat. And I literally tried like six times. But I don't know what the hell I did to him. The motherfucker is way too overpowered. I was only trying to kill him for the DLC. I'm um, not DLC, glitch. I had Clover with me and Jericho. Okay, then. But I have one advice. Or, yeah, one piece of advice when you're trying to have multiple uh, companions with you. Make sure you complete the part with the Gek first before you even try doing that. Or else you'll just have to restart the whole dog meat thing. I was ready to just throw my controller and say fuck it when I, I was trying to kill dog meat. But. I compelled myself even after I read uh, some stuff about it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I don't know what we're gonna be doing for this episode. Let's see. Uh, doctor, doctor. Oh. Kill my relics. Yeah, I also have these. Three DLCs. I'll eventually get to them. I don't know when, but I will. For right now, I'm uh. Doctor, Doctor Lee. Let's go. Let's do some more of the main quest. Let's get to Rivet City. Once I get to the about the part where I'm about to complete the story. I'll stop right there and complete any other side quest I had. Oh yeah, if you have any companions next to dog me while you're trying to kill them, they'll... Well, not the ones that are following you, but any other like ones that aren't following you, they'll end up start attacking you. I'm looking for Bullshit. trouble. Maker. Have you seen any? No. But I want some money, so. Man said he was thirsty over here. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. Damn it. I'm on your side. That's right. No. Oh, damn. Damn. I'm sorry, Carlos. Fine. I'll give you some water. Uh, there we go. At least, at least he's hydrated in wherever he went. Oh my, my arm, my arm. Ah, it itches. Okay. Damn, don't run into this fucking door. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Oh, fuck, bitch. <laughs> Project Puberty. Project Puberty. Project Puberty. Project Pubicare. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? That depends. What exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property missing pr property what kind hmm. of property how do i put this in a way you'll understand all you know of robots are those buckets of bolts those mr handshakers and whatnot well that's not all a robot can be you see in the commonwealth we've made artificial persons synthetic humanoids Programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. 
and occasionally they get confused and wander off. Uh, interesting, but what's this got to do? Oh, wait, wait, interesting, but what's this got to do with me exactly? You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I? I'll be compensated for... Compensated? For my services, of right? Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Alright, sure, I'll look into finding your android for you. Excellent! Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this Ooh. message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Alright. Okay. All right. Yes. What do you need? Anna Holt. What do you know about M Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. I know, right? Yeah. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I. It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Uh, wait, how do you know who I am? Have we met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. Uh... I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Screw the vault. I'm not staying cooped up in there. I see. So you decided to leave one of the safest places in the wasteland, even though it was in your best interest to stay. Hm. Sounds familiar. Well, I'm afraid your father Bitch. is no longer here. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where's this old lab? It's of in yours? the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Ah, then why the hell did you tell me? So now I gotta go. Bye! All right, you two, let's go. Oh, wrong gun. Well, I could probably make somebody into a slave. Move, dog meat. Oh! Um. Was there something else? 
If, if I help you, is there some kind of reward? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? No. I don't, I don't want that. I don't really want that very much. I don't want to be looked on as a better person. You screwed yourself in that android lady. Because I'm the main character, I get to find him. I think I took a wrong turn. I took the wrong turn and ended up on the ledge of it. Where the hell was it? Over there. Uh, please. We just gotta... Gotta get rid of him real quick. Why is his arm so heavy? The fuck is with this arm? Just, we'll just leave it there. There'll probably be rumors about something like that. Something over there. Help Hello. you guys already for this. Welcome, welcome. Crew. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Okay. Uh, I don't think anything does, man. Just being honest here. Do I have a home? I, I don't remember if I had somewhere to sleep. Or, like, had a home. Another satisfied custom. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go inside this memorial place with Jericho. And I'm gonna go get Clover. Because I want to expand my variety of using companions. Because usually I only ever use Jericho. Jericho and dog meat, to be exact. Watch open space out here. I don't like it. Oh, there they are. You guys are ready. Bitch. Oh. He's just a stub now. Take that. Take that too. Oh, painless needs a little bit of repair. Damn. 
Oh, why'd you shoot him in the butt? The man's dead, so there's nothing you can do there. You know what I'm wondering? It's probably a weird thing to wonder, but how do the supermans use the bathroom? Probably the same way as humans. And how does it look? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, what's up, dude? I gotta go. God damn it, I love the fuck happened in there. Found you. Is that super me? <gasps> fuck. <laughs> Oh god, here comes a big guy. Two hits, kid. Two hits. Ah! Oh, here it comes. Messing them up. What? Okay. Uh, okay. Dirty water, purify water. Dang. Only if that dude is still alive. Pistol. So far, nothing in there. Oh, what's up, dog? Oh, well, goodbye, dog. Dick. You got this. Take that. Oh, take that frag grenade. Dog me, move. Oh my gosh, I thought I must fell in. Oh, um, um. God, I'm so on edge when I rock like this. How can he even see? Nice. You Chinese assault rifle. Anybody else in here? Nope. All right. All right. All right. All right.
a uh, quest. Search dad's hollow tapes or clues to his location. Oh. Okay, so then where are the hollow tapes on this little thing right here? Oh yeah. Notes. Even on Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault. To be honest, the geck sounded like pure fantasy. Even if I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of bronze that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mill, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so we gotta hit the vault 112 to find our papa. Move. But I'll just save that for. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Oh wait, I need to get clover. Oh damn. That works. Don't you bleed on me? Okay, let's go to Paradise Falls real quick. Ah, there it is. Yeah. But you know, didn't know you could do that. What is that? Where's that giant statue, dude? I think that's his hand. I'll go look. I'll look at the statue and see if it is. If I can find it. The choir. Oh. Yeah, it's his arm. There's good old eulogy up there. There's the kids over there in the slave Cut cage. Mesh! Hit me alone! Sorry. <laughs> Men and ladies, boys and girls, prepare to be astounded, bedazzled. There's a skull. Eulogy, I got you a gift. What the f I think you already have a big enough a gift. What in the... What happened here? Oh, the king has the same bed. Mr. Eulogy, he's looking... Yeah, what is it? Sure, give me whatever you got. I see how it is. The old man can't keep up. Whatever. Now be at Moriarty's if you change your mind. Let me again. All right. You must be our perspective. Yeah, isn't she your bodyguard? Why sell her? Have you seen this place? 
I've got all the guards a body would ever need. Even a body as fabulous as mine. What makes her so I'll special? I'll tell you why. Because Clover is the craziest girl I've ever seen. And I'm an expert on crazy girls. Crazy in a fight, crazy in the sack, crazy every which way but loose. But most of all, she's crazy what in love hell? with whoever's holding her leash. And for the low cost of a thousand caps, Miss Clover could be crazy for you. If she's so crazy, maybe I'll take her off your hands, but only for 500 caps. I ought to sit Clover on you, just to show who's boss. But you're right, she makes the other girls nervous. And when they're nervous, I'm nervous. So go ahead and have fun with Clover. She's your problem now. Okay. My name's Clover. I hear you're the new man in my life. You're looking for a bodyguard, and I'm looking for a body. Sounds like we're going to have some fun times, lover. I'm not making love to you, so stop calling me that. You're always welcome to take whatever you want, lover. <laughs> Please. Okay. What about the power fist? Okay, whatever. I gotta go get her some armor. Hello. There goes eulogy. What does he mean, other girls? It's only him and that one other woman. Him, Clover, and that lady. on oh so fucking far off oh my god hey hey how you doing oh yeah when I was trying to kill dog meat after I was able to kill him finally I came here looking for Jericho, and I found Lucy West, and I just started talking like I normally do in the videos, and I realized I'm not even recording, so why am I talk speaking out of what the hell happened here? Oh yeah, it's the grenades. Oh well, it'll be fine. I don't like how it's so messy, but it'll work, I guess. Where do I get Chinese stealth armor? <laughs> Come here, Clover. Battle cap for your thoughts. You're always welcome to take whatever you want, lover. Can I take your life? <laughs> okay. There you go. Very manly. Put that in there. And keep the environmental thing. Damn it, get up. There we go. Did 
Did I forget to grab that bobblehead? <laughs> yeah, there was a bobblehead at Eulogies. I just forgot to grab him. Or grab it. Come on. I gotta put all this random junk in the fridge. Uh, aid. No, give me that. That sugar bomb, that coffee mug, coffee pot, cup, cutting board, dinner plate, empty cat bottle thing, glass pitcher, green plate. <sighs> so much stuff. Why did I pick up so much stuff? Anything else I don't need? Okay, I think I'm good, hopefully. Oh yeah, I gotta put my grenades in here. Ah, oh, so light now. Do you have anything in your inventory? Do you even have an inventory? No. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else then. Alright, let's go look for Poppy. Or Pappy. I wonder if, like, Clover levels up, like in Skyrim, how they level up with you. That would probably explain why dog meat's so LP. Be honest. All right, back on our adventure. There's something right next to me, isn't there? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Every time I hear wings, I think of Cazadors, man. PTSD, man. Yikes. We'll get him. Yeah? Yeah? You want some of this? Okay, calm down. Just a red scorpion. Now I see what you eulogy meant. Where the fuck is the entrance? Okay. Wait. What? I just went all the way around it. Are you tired? <laughs> After just screaming at a scorpion? Oh, I didn't have to shoot it. Wait, yeah, I did. Or I didn't. I don't know. Take that. But I don't have to shoot a lot of things here. Because my animal perk. Whew. Oh. Oh, wait. There's a. Mm, what are you called? First aid kit, I almost call it med kit. Yeah, 
here we are. I bought 112. You guys ready to go in? Hot Clover? Your first adventure? Or scavenge? Or something? I don't know. Ow! So loud! I wonder what you I don't. Battle cap for your thoughts. No. Wait, I want to yes, see what happened. lover. Wait, what? Why? On second thought, stay with I me. I was worried for a second. What are you thinking, lover? Uh. What would you like? I think you'll find I'm quite flexible. Okay. Please stop. Uh. Oh, I just skipped over that text and it was just gonna her scream. She was just gonna scream out goody. No, nothing in there. Ooh. Right here? Hello? Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please oh redress my. in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please take a seat in the nearest available Tranquility Lounger. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. Mind if I do? Damn, look at those eggs. Robotic eggs just sitting there on the floor. I gotta equip my... There we go. <laughs> Where is my... Oh, oh, there it is. Alright, I'll see you guys on the other side. Like I'm fucking dying or something. Well, I would, but... Okay, there we go. Peace, guys. I'll be back soon. What the fuck? Can I have a better gun? Uh, well, I would have gave you one, but you know, it's too late. Uh, it's this place. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot the hair I gave him. It was white. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Okay. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? A game? Okay. A game? Okay, I guess. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Timmy Newsbum? Who's that? He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. Alright. Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Your mom K. <laughs> hey, I heard your parents are getting a divorce because what? of you. What? 
Did I do something bad? Yeah, they said your mom gay. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. I just thought you should know. Oh, wait. They've never loved you. In fact, they both hate you and no, wish you were no. dead. No, no. Not my mommy and daddy, no. <laughs> That's crying? No. no. Oh, my God. What time is it? Damn, look at that arm. Yay, I knew you could do it. Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question. I want to play more. Where's my father? Your father? He's a scientist. Scientist. He's looking for Dr. Braun. Oh my! What a splendid turn of events! I had no idea the two of you were related. Yes, I have indeed seen him. I'm afraid he's rather unavailable at the moment. What do I have to do to see him? <sighs> Now that is just the sort of question you should be asking. You understand that I am in control then? Excellent. You are far more promising than your father. Father, what do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They are very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. Ah. Ha, that's it? No problem. Excellent. I so enjoy that can-do spirit. This is perfect for what I need. Without kill- oh. Good day. What's going on? Fucking no. <laughs> Good day. Hi. Good day to you. Anything you want? No. Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Our marriage? Well, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. Ah, Mabel. All right, I'll be back. If I can fucking move. Bye. Good day. Well, hi there. Anything? Can you tell me anything about the Rockwell's marriage? I don't know what sort of thing you'd want to hear about. There was that one time Janet waved a rolling pin at Martha. Oh, but I suppose that's not really something you should concern yourself with. Okay. Thank you. Where the fuck is Martha? Good day. Martha. Simpson residence. Well, hi there. Can you tell me anything about Rockwell's marriage? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about th Okay, if you People say so. People around here should mind their own business. Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, hi there. I mean, well, can you tell me anything Well, they're yeah, just so nice, aren't they? It's good the two of them worked... What do you mean, worked out everything? Oh, I... Well, I'm not one to talk, but there was that fight last year. Everyone could hear them arguing. Janet thought there was something going on with Roger and Martha Simpson. 
he eventually convinced her it wasn't true. But I've seen the way Martha looks at him. Janet may believe him, but I sure don't. Hey, thanks for the tip. tip. Oh, I wouldn't call it that. Take that, thank you. Hi, Martha. Oh, maybe. Fuck off, Martha. <laughs> Na 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 Look at my dainty little feet. Alright, let's go to the basement. Hello! Okay, and Good day to Martha, you. I mean Janet. Don't tell her that. You better come down to the basement. There's something you need what to see. What were you doing in our basement? Just trust me, it's important. Okay. Okay, if you say so. I'll follow you, child. Oh, damn. Damn, who was blocking her? Oh, she's following me, okay. What's this? Women's clothing? Down here? What? What the hell is this? It looks like Roger is a fan of women's clothing. But this isn't mine. What is this doing here? <laughs> Maybe it's his, you know, for him to wear when no one is looking. Oh my god. Roger. He he wouldn't. But <laughs> I got to go see this. I've never done that before. The fuck she just booked it. How did it come to this? I just She just booked it. She's gone. <laughs> You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. I've got to admit, this is kind I ha- I've got to admit, this is kind of fun. What can I do next? I am pleased to see I'm not the only one being entertained. You're far more agreeable than your father. If you wish for father. more, then so be it. But let's raise the stakes a bit this time. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. But do be creative about it. Beating her to death just won't suffice. Put some effort into it. She'll never see it coming. Music to my ears. It's kind of weird that you're a fucking little girl to be Oh my god, what is going on? Um, where did that woman go? not here so locking down residence please wait hello oh hi good day to you young master Is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. 
Is that robot coming? Man. I have a bad feeling that I probably did something. My God, help Don't stand still. For Queen and Country. Don't come in here. I guess it was nothing. Please don't come in here. Oh shit. Gotta go. No what to do if I found something. Guess it was not whatever. I'm out of here. Nope, you're not leaving. Here. Oh my god! Help! Is she dead yet? Oh, she's upstairs. Oh my gosh. I guess it was nothing. A little peace and quiet. Well, I got it. Last. Oh my god, there's fire all over the walls. Oh damn, she did. Damn, I wonder if I could just lit her on fire with that stove. You, you can find it. You're not supposed to be. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Get away from me, you crazy old You're bat. You're the only one who can end it. You must end it, don't you see? You're the... I'm serious. Get the hell away from you me. You need to know the truth. Otherwise, he'll suck you in just like all the others. Beware. I'll figure it out once it comes. Oh. Poor Mabel. Killed by her own robot. I suspect she never saw that coming. You are most oh, resourceful. That. And you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now we come to the last task that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. How do you know I'm be How do I know you're being honest I with me? I think you'll find that I have been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the doghouse, out behind the abandoned home, are a mask and knife. Don the mask and become the pint-sized slasher. Use the knife to eliminate all the residents of Tranquility Lane. Who the hell is the pint-sized slasher? He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. 
When they have all been eliminated, return to me. Sounds like fun. I thought you might find it amusing. It draws upon an old urban legend, a story told of a campfires many years ago. The residents have all heard the story and will fear you. Go forth and make me proud. <laughs> yes, Hitler. I mean, damn it. Shit really gets out of hand sometimes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And the man starts running. Why you running? Why you running? If don't catch you, I'm gonna catch you. Slasher. Someone help! Oh God! Oh, damn. Help! Help! No! No! That works. Who was that? Oh, that was Janet. Damn. Husband becomes gay, and uh, she loses, and she dies. Hey. Oh. That was another one. I just gotta go find the other ones. They must be inside. No, run, please. Get away. No, no. Oh. Oh. Hey. Please, leave me alone. Fucking juked my ass too, motherfucker. All right, now I just got the other ones to go kill. All right, next house. Do I get? Do I get to kill the kid? Or is he put it, getting put up for adoption? You just go to bed. Don't worry, okay? It's gonna be okay. Damn. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> I find this annoying. And I put a fucking decapitated head on a pillow. Um, I need to take a break for a while. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. Let's just go kill everybody else. Where are you? Are they, is this the abandoned house? No. Wait, what the fuck? No, please get away. Oh. Why are you running? No, I'm gonna catch you anyways. Run. It's the pipe sized slasher. No, I'm a child. Yeah, yeah. All right, last ones. Last ones of the day, and then I get to see Papa. Is this the abandoned house? Say, Martha. Oh, Mabel. Did you want to look for a new robot? I know you're not comfortable with yours. I don't. No! No! Please! No! Get away! Eh, yes, it was nothing. Just getting jumpy, I guess. No! Ha! No! Please leave me alone! 
they ran. I was just trying to listen on their conversation too before I killed them. <laughs> oh damn. I don't think her head survived. Yikes. Okay, well, uh, I think I'm done. Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. I did what you want. I mean, that sure was fun. I had the distinct impression you enjoyed yourself. We are like you and I. Now, you ask for the means to leave Tranquility Lane, and so I grant it to you. The door is open. You are, of course, welcome to stay a bit longer if you like. Oh, really? Where's the abandoned house? Here it is. I'm gonna save real quick. Now fuck it. Let's just go. Too much time was wasted. All right, bye. Ah, uh, had a fun time in there, Clover. All right. Ah, oh, my Chinese mustache. I'm Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You could have been killed. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Did you get the information you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable. But I'm sure that components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. What about me? What am I supposed to do? Supposed to yes, do? what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there to make a life for yourself there, not out here. Screw the, screw the ball, I didn't need Is that, that so? voice. You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want from life already? I suppose it doesn't matter yep. now. I suspect there's no going back for either of us. We'll just have to forge on ahead, won't we? Dad, I'm not going with you. I ha oh, wait, fuck. Okay, let's head to River That's City. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Uh. Oh, I leveled up. What's the big deal about water? Oh, wait, never mind. I don't. Uh, can we just talk for a minute? Of course, son. What's on your mind? How could you leave me like that? The hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Uh. 
Why would you put yourself at risk like this? You have some sort of death Morgan, wish? No, no, of course not. I just... This is important work. Clean water can change the lives of so many thousands of people. It's worth the risk to help them. Just forget it. Let's get I this over I hope that you with. can understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my son. Uh, ba -ba -ba All right. Okay. Uh, medicine. I'll put that up five. Small guns, like assault rifle. Put that up to seventy-five. What? That to sixty. And science at four. Master Trader. When you take the Master Trader perk, the price of every item you buy from the ven vendor is reduced by 25%. Light Step. With the Light Step perk, you'll never set off an enemy's mines or floor based traps. Damn, that would have came in handy before. Once you have the Lawbringer perk, any evil character you kill will have a finger on their corpse. The finger can then be sold a to a certain person whose identity is disclosed when you take the perk. For caps and positive karma. I don't want that shit. Once you have the Contract Killer perk, any good character you kill will have an ear on their corpse. This ear can be then can be sold to a certain person. Okay. What is this? You only receive 50% of damage. Your limbs only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. Uh. Uh, I don't know, but I'm leaning against Contract Killer or sc Scrounger. Alright, so, fast metabolism, you gain. Oh, I want this one. Wait, the hell? I got a fucking achievement. I don't know how, but I did. Hello, sir. Okay. Hi. Anyways. Oh, damn. I gotta go get clover and dog meat. Anyways. I'm gonna leave this episode here. The next episode, I'll continue on my journey with my papa. <laughs> but... This episode was way more calming than Can we go what yet? I originally was recording, to be honest. Hello, sir. Uh, that was making me way too angry. Dog meat is a tough son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Vault 12 and the Memorial. I hope you like my new companion, Clover. Hi, Clover. Anyways, goodbye and bye bye.